I'm joined with Montreal Victoire, Captain Marie-Philippe Poulin. How good does that sound to say, finally, Victoire? We have a name and we have a logo. Uh, it feels amazing. Obviously, such an exciting day for all six teams. Obviously, today, having a new team logo, new name, it's exciting. Uh, we've been playing for the PLG in Montreal, all different markets. It's been exciting, but obviously, just to rally behind mm -hmm. that name, that logo. People can buy uh, merch online. So, obviously, it's very exciting and very excited to, for the season to start what was your first reaction to seeing it excited yeah. like it, I love it honestly <laughs> like right away you see the, the amount of work that's been put in uh, obviously the league Amy Shear and all her team has been putting so much time behind it and there's a story behind it obviously for us you can see the M through it all you can see the fleur de lis in it and there's a lot in it and obviously the color uh, it's fun we still have our our burgundy and cream together so it's very fun very excited and obviously when the league's gonna start when the season's gonna start people are gonna rally around it mm -hmm. yeah the details in it are insane if you really look closely you can tell a lot of thought uh, went behind it as well but did you have a say at all like what was the process in choosing the name and the logo uh, honestly no I did not <laughs> did not have a say and I know that the league have such a great team uh, behind it and obviously with Bauer making the jersey and everything uh, I think they've worked really hard they put a lot of thoughts in obviously the fans were behind it as well they know what it's all about and uh, th there's a lot of thoughts so obviously very exciting and obviously all six markets are very different very fun and uh, I don't see why people are another jump right in and uh, follow us along what did you think it was gonna be like last season or halfway through the year did you have something in your mind buzzing honestly no because there's so many like fun names clever names that people were just shutting out and obviously you hear Les Canadiens which is back, back in the day obviously we heard Echo this year uh, but obviously I had no idea and very excited and very thrilled to be part of the Montreal team mm -hmm. and do you have a favorite out of the other five teams that you really like or can you not say? Oh, great question. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, it happened very quick. We're here at camp, so obviously uh, we saw him, but saw all of them. But obviously, all of them are different. They're all unique. Uh, obviously, if I think about it, obviously the New York, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a NBA vibe, kind of <laughs> WNBA. So it's kind of cool to see that. But they're all very cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and speaking of camp, just how good does it feel to be back with the team and some new girls on the team as well? Honestly, very fun. It's always such a privilege and honor to, to be here, being able to be at Hockey Canada camp, uh, getting all of us together first time in September. So it's great. And obviously, it's new for, for all of us being here, cheering for a six logo. People were talking about it last night at dinner. It's going to be exciting morning. So obviously, all around women's hockey, women's sports in general, it's unbelievable and really thrilled to be part of this, really this movement all together and just keep pushing. Yeah, what an environment to celebrate such an incredible thing too. You have so many girls here as well that um, are celebrating these new names and logos and the fact that you guys all get to be together is just incredible. But looking back to the last world championship, you guys won gold. Just how important is it to you to be able to head into the rivalry series and the next world championship with that under your belt? Yeah, I mean, obviously it felt good. Obviously, last world, uh, very excited that we were able to get back on top, but we know it's not easy to, to stay there. So for us, it's just going to keep pushing. Obviously, we all play on different teams, but every time we have that chance to connect here at camp, being together, those are the best moments. You want to keep getting better, and obviously we know there's a series coming up, rivalry series against the U.S. and Wales as well, and obviously the Olympics is right around the corner, and we're all aware of that. So for us, we're just going to keep pushing. Uh, obviously, every time you wear that logo, it's such a privilege, like I mentioned, and uh, obviously it's it's fun. We can't forget that it's fun. That's why we're doing it, and we're passionate about it, and obviously with this new league, we're doing it not only for ourselves, for the next generation, so it's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. And being the captain now of two teams, is there something that you've taken being captain of Canada and used to be captain of Montreal that has just worked really well for you? Honestly, like I've been pretty fortunate to be so, so surrounded by amazing people. And obviously our group here with Team Canada, we've been together for many years and we kind of know how to work. So obviously for me, it's just learning from them, still taking pieces from uh, all the girls and just to be honest, being myself. I don't think coming from one team to the other, you need to change. I think being authentic, mm -hmm. letting people be and obviously push them when they need to. But I think in a professional environment, people know what to do and what's expected. So uh, it's pretty awesome to be part of that. Absolutely. And looking back to the PWHL, new year, new home at Place Bell. Just how excited are you to call that your new home this year? 
Uh, so excited. I mean, there's so many news happening around women's hockey, women's sports, and obviously, obviously for us in Montreal, playing in Place Belle, having our new rink, uh, having a new logo, a new team. Uh, I think it's all new to all of us, but we cannot wait for the season to start. And obviously, it's still a couple of months away, but I think just starting this with uh, Hockey Canada here and then get, get started is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Plus Bell is fun for me just because it's kind of like a club. Like Kenzie and I like to call it Club Bell because it's so loud in there. The lights are crazy. It's just such a fun atmosphere. So it's great that you guys get to play in there. But also looking back at last season really quickly, did you have a highlight of the incredible first year? Uh, yeah, how much time do we have? There are so many firsts. <laughs> obviously, there were so many moments where it start start. Uh, it's hard to describe. But obviously, like. Mm -hmm. I'd be lying if I say the Bell Center was not in my top one moment of the season. Uh, I think that moment was unbelievable to be part of. Uh, I knew playing in the Bell Center was amazing and we heard great things, uh, but it was beyond expected. And obviously we did lose that game, not gonna lie. It, you wanna win, you're competitive, every team wants to win, but it was more than that at that moment. Uh, having people, having the oldest generation, the newer generation all in the stands and hearing how many people had tears in their eyes and that we found, finally made it. Uh, I would say it was beyond expected, but the whole year, there was moments at Verdun, at Place Ver, Bank. There are so many like I can name, but uh, just that special moment every time uh, was very cool to be part of. Absolutely. Definitely a heartwarming season for sure. And I think for me, just being able to play at the Bell Center for you guys is this is going to sound maybe a little crazy, but and I told you so moment to so many people that doubted the PWHL and women's hockey. It's just like, OK, you know what? We're here and we can do this and we can we have the fans to prove it. So that was really important to me. But also looking back at last season, yes, you guys did incredible, but not the ending you would have hoped for. How do you take a disappointing ending to that season and turn it into a positive in year two? Yeah, obviously that, that playoff run was a little hard for us, not gonna lie, that was three overtime, kinda, <laughs> kinda hurt for sure. Uh, but it's part of the process. Uh, I don't think every uh, championship team uh, happened over one year, over, it, it, it's a process, it's preparation, and it's all of us taking that time over the summer, what we can do better at, as an individual. And obviously come in as a group and come November when it's training camp and getting our new uh, draftees coming in and just making them part of that team right away and going together. I don't think it's going to be easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy, otherwise everybody would be doing it. But for us, it's just focusing on ourselves, keep building, keep pushing, and keep keep creating a championship culture that eventually hopefully will happen but obviously we do have that goal but it takes a process and takes preparation through it all. Absolutely I think it's funny that you touched on the three overtimes because physically and mentally like I don't think people understand how difficult it is to have to play through that and I saw you guys when I was reporting back and forth and just seeing how exhausted you guys looked and I knew I knew you were feeling it in the legs too but that was that was definitely something for sure but also looking forward to this season I know you touched on it a little bit but any other expectations you have for year two with your team? Uh, I mean, obviously, you, we want to be better as a group. Yeah, you want to win the, those games. I think you, you're aware that this season, this league is playoff every game. Uh, obviously, everybody wants to win. You can see the parity in this league is unmatched, unbelievable. Like, you can see until the last game of the season last year playoff team were not even like set so you know it's going to be a battle but just getting ready uh, mentally physically knowing what you need to do and we all know it's very physical so I think knowing how to get hit how to how to hit people and how to get back up so those are all little things but obviously as year one was unbelievable and I can't imagine year two what's going to be all about. Absolutely. The physicality, especially. It was insane to see last year, but it was so much fun as well. Okay, ending off with a fun one. Do you have any chance that you're predicting for fans to use this season with Victoire? Anything in your mind? Not yet. Actually, I actually haven't thought. No, I don't know. Okay. It's early. It is. It just it came is. out. It was just released, I don't know, like six hours ago. So I'm kind of putting you on the spot with that one. But how's this? Anything you want fans to know? Uh, from you and your heart that it's so exciting it's an exciting time and new name new logo uh, new legacy for every team in each market uh, give it a chance it's all new to all of us and obviously logos name is all different but there's a lot of thinking a lot of hard work and it's they're all pretty awesome, awesome. thank you so much for the time and best of luck during camp thank you very much